I always try to understand what the actual impact of art is and whether it's uh, something that is practical or not and whether it needs to be practical in order for it to be impactful. My name is Adam Ikutieri, but I also work under the artist name of No Hope and I'm a mixed media artist that works in the social practice realms and community-based projects. It was shortly after I started working in public space that I, that I knew that I wanted to tell a story or develop this ongoing narrative. But I knew that I wanted a recurring figure that people can, that they can come back to, a kind of visual language and almost persona that people can develop a long-term relationship with. And I used the character to mirror real life situation. I would, you know, observe on something that was happening around me and translate it into something that was more universal, more distant, more objective through the character. And there's something I think comforting about developing this long-term relationship especially when it's in public space for it to be life-size, because I think one of my main intentions was for people to be able to see themselves in the character and understand how it relates to, to their existence. Taking Size is, a, is an ongoing project that I've done in multiple cities around the world. It's a project in which I draw a line on the ground and write two different texts, one on each side. And it's a project that deals with territory, how we adopt a stance, whether we do it consciously or subconsciously or by coincidence. The texts that I write on both sides of the line, they don't necessarily always represent one territory and another territory, but a lot of times they communicate one philosophical notion from two different perspectives. And it's kind of like it, it represents two different ways of perceiving the same reality. You know, when you work in public space, people attach meaning to it based on their own, you know, not only their own interpretation, but their own baggage, their own experience of reality. And I think that, you know, while I do have some sort of intention while making a piece, then I, I see it almost just as a suggestion, not in a didactic way, that that's the meaning and that's my intention. But it, it's it's put in public space for people to experience it in their own in their own way. It's human-like, but it's not human. It's genderless, doesn't have a race. And I think that, that I wanted it to resemble a human just enough to be able to remind people of certain human traits without getting into the specifics of you know what context it was in, because that automatically gives very specific meaning to it. And when I was speaking about universal issues that I think pertain to humanity at large, then that's why I tried to to distance it from those specifications.